We are going live now. Hey everybody, we are coming in live. I'm sure it's gonna be some, we're gonna share this, change the privacy settings real quick. You there on the page yet? Hey everybody, how's everybody doing tonight? It's like we ain't been on it forever. I doesn't? know. Let me tell you what happened the, the two weeks ago when it was just having cheese. Yeah. I, <laughs> I went to the doctor, so I've been having some some issues with my back and stuff. So they gave me some some pain pills, and I took. I said I'm gonna take it early, mm -hmm. but it must have hit. It didn't hit me then. I guess guess I. My Fitbit said I went to sleep about six something. <laughs> I didn't wake up till after ten. <laughs> and I text Scott and I said, yeah. Is it over? <laughs> yeah. And, and what's I funny is we was on the phone right before we came, like five o'clock we was on the phone. Right. By the time I got her, I'm thinking, so I hit Pam up, Pam I'm like, I just woke up. <laughs> hey Christian. She yeah. missed it out. So when I called her, he was like, Your ass better be dead. <laughs> I was like, hey. I said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, she was out. We just talked. So she I, took it and was gone. I don't even know when, when I fell asleep because I was up talking to him and I got dressed and everything sat down and my Fitbit said like at 6.21 I was out. So yeah. Like 10.07. Ain't I that woke. the worst thing when you get dressed up to go somewhere and you fall asleep and wake up and it's over? And I woke up to know where I was. I was like, <laughs> I was like, damn, I don't really feel like <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Brian? What's up, Molly? Brian What's up, Brian? Brian? <laughs> I've missed y'all. Everybody's coming on in. Cheese on his, cheese on his way. Your cheese is on his way. So what kind of week have you guys been having? Let us know, let us know, let us know. And have you guys been holding it down for us? That's right. what we need to know. Right? Yeah. Hey, Gina. What's up? Man, we got so Gina. many people coming on in. Glad, glad, glad. We're going to start the subject out tonight. You know how we do. We always don't, we don't stay on the same subject all the time. No, we always branch out. Right. Right. Because they'll say something off the wild ham and cheese when you get Yeah, it. something. And I have to chin check them. <laughs> you know me, I have to chin check them for the ladies. <laughs> Brian said, hey, little biscuit. <laughs> little biscuit is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Corey. Oh yeah, okay, Angela. okay. okay. Yeah. I can't sit there. I remember. Okay. <laughs> so now we're gonna talk about uh, at your age that you are now. Right. What's the youngest or the oldest or, or and the oldest person that you adapt? What she said. Yeah, what I said. At mm -hmm. your age now. I'm not talking yep. about before, but the age yeah. you are now. Right. What's the youngest or the, and the oldest that you adapt? Right. And we think it's an interesting question because the thing is, is we always say we don't, we can't find nobody, right. right? But with millions of people out here, we got our, I guess, broaden our, 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 our search. You Lower know, our standards a little bit. Yeah, standards or you know, wide, wide, right, wide. Brian said twenty six to forty six. Twenty six to forty six. How old are you, Brian? I think Brian's what 45, 46? You gotta be about 40, 44, 45. 46? So he said 26 to what? 26 to 46. Which one do you prefer? So he don't really want a woman older than him. No, he don't want a, he don't want a okay. sugar mama. Okay, so, well, so we can't say older. Corey What's said, up, Al? Corey said youngest is uh, who she's with now, 37. 37. Kim okay. said my ex is 21. Oh. How old are you now, Kim? Kim, how old are you now? The reason why we ask is because we're trying to get an age comparison. Because you know, what we li it's, it's a part of something that they say that you should date somebody. A man should marry a woman that's seven years young. You heard that? Yeah. Yeah. Because they say, I guess, she'll look up to him more or, you know, trust what he says. Because, you know, women get out of pocket like Pam. Pam is always out of damn pocket. Y'all listen to him. Uh, 
Corey said oldest maybe 50. Ramonda said oldest 45. So what's the youngest you are? Oh, Ramonda's 45. <laughs> Brian's 45. So what's the youngest y'all date? Hey, look. Look what Tina, Chris said. Tina said 40 youngest, 55 oldest maybe. Huh. Chris, an 1880 blind cripple crazy. <laughs> I was going to say that too. That's why I'm laughing. My said it all the time. Chris crazy. Ella said, I don't have a limit. Yeah. Reminder, I call, I'll be calling her Mo, so I might say Mo sometimes. 35 to 45. Uh -huh. Kim said, Kim is 35, so she dated somebody 21. 21. Okay. I can't be with nobody that's, that's my kid's age. They will you be, can't? Uh, you, you can't? You can't do it at all? Well, my, well, my husband, ex-husband, whatever. He's he's younger than me, fourteen years younger than me. Okay. So he's not that much older than my oldest kids, but right. That doesn't you don't think it caused a conflict? No, I mean, no, it never did because they were they was younger at, at the point. Right. At the time. Right. It might now if I dated somebody that young and they're older, right. but they was kids then. Could you date an older guy now? I don't know. Not not too much. I don't know. Pam, you a damn cougar. Not too much older. Pam, you a cougar. Pam's I a cougar. Could. Pam's a cougar. Maybe in the fifties, but you get like sixties <laughs> and seventies. You we can't do it. We, we don't. We won't have no uh, life. We we'll mm. be going to doctor appointments and Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki uh, said forty-two youngest, fifty-five oldest. Mm. Corey said her ex-husband was eight years older. Virginia said I was 10 up and 10 down, but I had to change that. Wow. Which one you prefer now? I know 10 up and 10 down. Well, it works. So 10 down would be 39 for me. 10 up would be 59. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be 49 on Monday, so. I prefer younger in a way. You, I can't yeah. see you in no old, old mm -hmm. one. Nah, I couldn't go too much older. I can go a few years older. But you couldn't do like 60. Nah, I can't do no damn 60. I can't do no damn 60. Okay, I'm 46. I can't go 16 years older. <laughs> when I'm 55, she'll be 70 something. And what I'm gonna do with that? You know what I mean? Next thing you know, her hip broke. Nah. <laughs> That's what she down to do. She might be a fit. fit she might be a 70, but her hip, I mean, you know, her can't have a good hip. Her hip be out of play. I'm trying not to get to I'm just playing. Kim no, told really me to shut serious. my mouth. I don't even know what I said. <laughs> Kim said that was like peas and curds. Corey said, my stepdad is, is only 10 years older than me. Mom is 14 years older than him. Oh. Wow. Kim told Cougar Nation. <laughs> Cougar Nation. That's crazy. Yeah, my last two long-term relationships was, they was younger. They both were the same age. They was both 14 years younger than me, though. So. Were they? Yeah, so. Do you, what, what, what interests you in a younger guy? I don't know, I guess at that point it was the stamina. The stamina? The For stamina. Real? And the, I fun, the fun, I guess. The fun. The carefreeness? Yeah, the carefreeness. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but you know what they say, age is, age is nothing but, a, ain't nothing but a number. But this is the thing. Man, R. Kelly said that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring him in there. He wrote this off with Leah. Pam, you know what I mean? No. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you just got damn problem with R. Kelly, man. I do. <laughs> but look, this is the thing. When you get somebody that's younger, they more outgoing, it seems like. Yeah. You know, it seems like some of the women I've dated that are a little older, it seems like they're kind of like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm so like, man, fuck this. I want to go out and have some fun. Yeah, have some fun. Yeah, that's true. Kim's um, hello. Corey said, vitality. Yeah. Kim said does stamina. Yeah. Right. But you know, some older older guys at my age and a little older, you know, from what people say, I've just never been with nobody older than me. Yeah. No, my age, but not older, like. Like, like, would you date a dude right now to 60? Lord, I don't know. I seen this little old man at Kroger's yesterday. He said, like, hey, that you, uh, Edward's daughter. I said, yeah. He said, well, you sure have grown up, man. And I was well, thinking, he was like 70, so I was thinking. Oh, that's too old. But that's you know, that's too old. Yeah, for right now, for us now. But yeah. I couldn't, uh, no, I don't know, 60-something, maybe. Hmm. It depends on what kind of 60-something man it is. Right. Is he going right. to be out there in them leisure shoot suits, short sets, and them... And them little oh, you scared sandals. all the dudes can't keep up. Just be honest. Tell, tell, tell the truth. Is no, that what it is? No, I don't think it's about keeping up. I think it's more about 
us being together, being compatible, like, you know. Right. But you'll go with a younger dude that ain't compatible. You Would you still date a dude that's 15 years younger? No, not at this point, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? Why not? No, not now. Not now. I don't. You tired of boy toys? <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Pam tired of playing. They won't do too much Pam now. My hip can't hold up like before. <laughs> My hip and my back hair. Uh -uh. You got to do a lot more to scoot. Yeah, I can't, I can't be scooting. Pam trying to get to the scooting age. I might need to give me an older man because we just Bingo and scooting. <laughs> Bingo and scooting is in her near future. She ain't riding, she's scooting. Corey said, my mama goes more than me. She's got more life in her than I do. Kim said, they got smoke coming out their pipes over to <laughs> Say, no. <laughs> Chris said, you can't judge these days. I'm 48, so if 10 years old, she'll be 58. I'm 60. But if I go 10 years younger at 38, I have a son who is in his 30s. Age really don't matter if you hit the right one. Right? But Chris, which one you prefer? Come on now. Come on off the fence. You got to say it. Because he riding the fence with that one. I don't want to hear his thoughts. Because with an older woman, you get one settled. But, you know, Chris is the type of dude. He got his stuff together. Right? right? So a younger woman, I mean... You know, he got his stuff together, so I don't think a young woman would bring him down or any of that stuff. You know? No, you got to speak on a maturity level too. You yeah. know, are, are they mm -hmm. uh, old? You know, are they a growner, younger person? Yeah. Are they yeah. still with the silly, silly shit? You know, I ain't with that <clears throat> silly, silly stuff. Now, I know me and y'all yeah, don't want to be with the silly stuff with a female and all that. Nah. Not at this age. So. Nah. But I tell you what, a younger girl. You, if you get a younger girl, you want a younger girl that's been through something. That's done been cheated on, done been divorced. Yeah, yeah, you want one younger that's done been through a little. Been through something. Been through something. Because then they understand, you know, they, they understand a good man. You got to go through the bad men to understand the good one. Yeah, that's true. Chris said either, it depends on who I click with. Gotcha. Yeah, sometimes you just have no control over who you, who you click, I agree. click with. I agree. I agree with that. You know, I guess uh, my thing is now I don't want to date a man that has little kids. No, I ain't dealing with a little kid. I can't no. really deal with little kids too much. I mean, I can, but I can't. No, because you, you, know you, you shake kids. I, no, uh, I just shake my own kids. I don't shake nobody else's kids. <laughs> I don't. I don't play the shaking of other people's kids. <laughs> I don't touch other people's kids, man. I don't. Uh, yeah, but like, I don't want to date somebody with that. with little kids or. Baby mamas and stuff. You just don't so. want to change that. Is that what it is? No, I just don't want no little kids. They irky as hell. Mine <laughs> 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 was, was probably irky. But, but then I think back. Dang, I had four kids at one time. And guys probably used to look like. Yeah. And, I and I remember one time this guy picked me up. He, and it was just my two little ones. It was just Tyreek and Bubba with me. Yeah. He took. He had a nice conversion van. We didn't go out to eat. Them little niggas. Boy, them two boys <laughs> in the back, and I can't see what they doing back there. He pulled over, and I tore his curtains there. I had a hole in the floor. I mean, he took wow. he took me home so fast and dropped me out. Reminder, remember, reminder, you remember that when he dropped me right back off at home because they tore up his van. Before you can even get to the store, before I can get to the van, to the yeah. store. So I think it depends. Yeah, but right now I don't want I don't want nobody with with little kids. At this what age, I want to be what doing stuff. Do? What's, What's up, up with cheese? Chilling. What y'all into? Man, nothing much, man. <laughs> How you doing tonight? We got cheese in the bed, yeah. got that Nipsey Hustle on. Yeah, I got that milk on. Right it's his birthday just passed. You know what I mean. That's all right. Got the nip the nip. Yeah, we're talking about uh, what's the at your age now, what's the oldest and the youngest that you would date if you were single? So people have said 10 mm -hmm. years up, 10 years down, mm -hmm. 26 to 46. Mm -hmm. I don't so. cut off up. You know, up got money. <laughs> 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 Leave the cheese. <laughs> you know what I mean? They on their, you know what I mean? On their way out, they got some, you know, good prizes to leave. No, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> he's serious. <laughs> he's just playing serious. They were rolling them checks. He's just seriously playing. Kim said, baby, baby mom's arky as fuck too. <laughs> yeah, they are. Man. Brian said, I'm only dating a younger girl that has a kid or two. Okay. Yeah, Brian has a little, he has a little girl, so yeah. that's understandable. Yeah, but this little girl ain't in diapers, though, either. No, no, so she's not in diapers, so. Yeah. This, this date, right? Yeah, date. Not one night stand. Nah. nah. Okay, I was wrong. Nah, you don't even know, you know, you know about the kids one night yeah, stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talking about relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Mama 
Chris said she remember that night he was hot when he dropped me off with my kids and yeah. tore up the van, see? So yeah, but I don't want little kids now, I guess. Yeah. But I love kids though. I really do. When I'm I talking kids. about I love yeah. kids, I'm not even talking about babies. I'm talking about yeah. elementary. He yeah. would, the kids would have to be at least high school. High school? At least you high better school. Have high school. Yeah. So what's this dude that treats you good and he got kids that's seven, eight, going to elementary? You just like, uh, let's not even find it's, that. It's, it depends on how much I like it. It, yeah. it depends. I don't know. It's, that's a tough one. Because I don't, you know, they've been through that. I, my kids are grown, so I got yeah. grandkids. But you know, I got grandkids, so. They different. You, know, you send them home. But yeah, definitely no babies and definitely no right. little bitty kids. If you were single, could you date a girl with like little small kids, like two year olds and three year olds? I, I'm, I'm gonna say like that. It depends. It depends. Yeah, I'm with y'all on that. Yeah, I agree. It depends on the person. Yeah, when you got older kids, you know, yeah. like all of us have older kids, and somebody comes with a little one, two year olds, you like. Mm. Yeah. What time they leave? <laughs> 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 See, this is different for a woman because we can yeah. date a guy that has kids, smaller kids, because right. they're not in the home. Right. But y'all, yeah. they home with the, with the girls, so it's a totally different yeah. ballgame then. Yeah. I remember one time I was dating this girl, and we was over her cousin house, right? And man, we were sitting downstairs, and next thing I know, I'm seeing stuff coming out the steps, somebody throwing them down. <laughs> I'm seeing this little fat little kid in a diaper throwing stuff at me with a little party tail. I'm like, I thought, man, I'll come up here and fight you. <laughs> <laughs> so me and the kid arguing out the step. But I knew who the kid was. Man, it was cool. Well, I can't say who it is because he grown now. Though. He grown now. Oh, man. Kim said all the young guys she dealt with cashed out on me and I never did the other way. Okay. Yeah, that's a good yeah, when I was that young guys, they they did more than the older older guys. Why? What did they do do? I don't know, I guess because the young guys was hustling probably. The young guys out of being what they was hustling at the time, so not too many older guys was was into that. Yeah. They done did it, but they do their little nine to five. Yeah, so, they ain't got that spare change. Yeah, can't go in the shoebox. Nah, they can't go up under the bed. Serving them. Missed them days though. You. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't want to go through it at that. Not at this age. Yeah. No. Yeah. So I don't know about an older man though, like sixty something. You couldn't do a 60? I don't know. Could you do a 60 cheese if you were single? Oh, she, it's a hell of oh, she papered up. No, she papered up. She got I to told Pam, so you got to watch out, man. When they get 60, getting close to 70, they might lose a hip. She papered up. I'm you good. knock her hip out, then what you going to do? I knock it back to the front. Come You know, I didn't think about it for a minute. <laughs> Then I ain't got nothing to do with that. That is sad, dude. I knock it back in place. Just for me. Take your mind off of it. So how do y'all feel about dating people with, with kids? You know, we've said about the age. How do y'all feel about dating people with kids? Do you have a thing with little kids or older kids or how many baby mamas? I think more than two is pushing it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say 14 and up. 14 and up? Yeah. Is that where you at on it? Yeah. Yeah. A serious relationship. High school. Yeah. High school. I'm, I can deal with that. What's funny is people are gonna think we on her being mean, but they'll know once their kids get up. Tell you what, when my when my kids were like young, I was like, oh man, it don't matter. I can get a girl with no kids. Once they start, once my daughter made that high school, I said. <laughs> That's a wrap. Right. I ain't wanting to start back all over. Hey, look, I'm seeing light at the end of the tunnel. I'm, right. I'm trying to make it there. Man, I see some of my homies <laughs> graduate one and start over. I'll be like, how yeah. did you do that? Yeah. My, yeah. Friend, my friend Tiffany, my nephew is is tw 21, about to be 22, 21, 22, and she got a, a new one year old. Like, wow. Like, oh! I'm like, man, look. Once my kid got up to high school, I said, man, my pull-out game got to change. Right, right, <laughs> I got to right, get right. a better pull-out game, dude. Uh, I couldn't listen. pull out a driveway a long time ago. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm good, man. I'm good. 
I got to use that one. I got to pull out the driveway. I got to pull out the driveway. Now, yeah. man, hey. But it's cool. I got two kids by one person, so I ain't got a lot of headache. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, I got that one person. Yeah, you lucky. Yeah. yeah. He got lucky. I did a few things. I listened to some of my old big homies back in the day. When my homeboy was like, man, you get one, you better keep them. Keep it with that one. I was like, you know what? So I'm did, listening to that. Did nobody tell me that. that. Nobody told you that? Five. Five. <laughs> He said five. He said five. He said nobody Virginia, told me that. Virginia said three cheese. Pos three possibles. <laughs> three possibles. <laughs> oh, shit, that's I got a spade, spade in. <laughs> well, I got four baby daddies, so. Okay. Virginia said cheese trying to be taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Hey, Jada, I got to do it right. You feel me? I'm going to do it. Yeah. Kim said, hell no, them little kids is a no. Them young guys, you can train them. Yeah. I tell you what, man, it helped me to have be around older dudes that had kids when I was growing up. Cause I watched them girls come in and fighting in stores and all kind of stuff and busting out windows. I was like, nah, man, I think I'm good on that. Oh, man. Hey, I'm, I'm good. good. I, I can't deal with the young ones. Yeah. Like yeah. twenty something. Nah, not now. Yeah. My mind wasn't even. I ready. say, I say, I browse trip on you know my son and stuff, and I be like, I'm gonna dip, go. Yeah, that. I don't go through that, man. I don't want no more kids, <laughs> man. Hey, but I, but I listen. I'm not gonna run from somebody that's good that's got yeah. kids. We have to work it out. But I ain't. I'm definitely not wanting no more. That's that's oh, a yeah, that's a 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 most dudes, I mean, most people when their kids get to high school, they kind of start leveling out at that point. You know that? Yeah. It's just when they're little, when yeah. you have to have to have to have some issues. When they get older and the feelings go away. Yeah. But I think people only trip when they still have feelings for them. I agree. Do the that. feelings ever go away? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah, that's yeah. a good question. Let's ask that question. Do the feelings ever go away? Yeah, I don't have no feelings for it. nobody. I got a kid by. None. You have any feelings for? Them? I don't got one. You got no, I'm two. good. You good got to feel no, about I'm, 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 I'm definitely good. But I still see some people tripping like, and their kids be like, grown. Oh. Now, now see, we I'm all said that, that and everybody else is going to say that too. We want to know, if you got kids by a few different people at this age, do you still have feelings for them? You know everybody going to lie and say no. Right. But I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Yeah, somebody got some feelings. Somewhere. My role was kind of rough, so that helped me on my feelings. I'm good on that. Yeah, I'm good right. on that. Yeah, I'm good on that. My road been rough too. <laughs> <laughs> a rough road, man. It's so a I, 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 I show. But I don't think, you know what? I don't think women get over it as easy as men. That's what I'm saying. That's where I was directing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we just gonna come out and, out and say it. I don't even think I had feelings for a couple of them. See, Pam, but you a dude. No, I'm not. I remember stopping one. Nah, you do. <clears throat> I remember stopping one of my baby dads was like, hey. I said, I'm pregnant, I'll call you when I have a baby. He's like, okay, he has some more chicken to call. I was like, and I didn't talk, I called him when I had the baby. Who the hell does that? Pam. Who does that? <laughs> Pam, I'm pregnant by a dude, says, hey, I'll call you when I had a baby, I'm pregnant. He's like, all right, Ben. I said, all right, dude, and that was it. And I called him, I had the baby, he came out there, and he was, I mean, he was, he was a good dad. I mean, I was like, oh, what else want to do? Pam, I'm chilling the whole time, I was like, <laughs> Take notes. Listen, Take listen notes. everybody, <laughs> Pam's birthday is Monday. Monday. So this would be the best time to buy Pam a strap on because she's already a dude. <laughs> and don't send it here. Don't send it. <laughs> I was going to say Not send it in, but it'd be just my damn luck. I go out there and drop the box in the, in a, in a, in a strap on fall out. And they're like, I knew that dude was gay. <laughs> be all on Facebook and I got dildos and shit laying out yeah, outside yeah. the business. Oh, like, I knew that dude was gay. Yeah, my birthday is Monday. That's how it would happen. It would happen like that. Like I'm that. trying to do a joke on Pam and shit. They say, you know, I'm out there picking up rubber dick. <laughs> <laughs> and we were working by a church too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the pastor be coming out and I'm sitting there flopping. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, with, with, with the suction cup or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, man, Pam think like a dude. So y'all yeah. get together, we'll get y'all how to get a strap on the Pam. I don't need Come no on. damn strap on. What I'm going to do with it? 
Pam, you might as well, Pam. I think you teetering, Pam. I think Pam is teetering on that level. But plus, that way we'll be ready for your next birthday. You'll be 50 next year, right? I'll be 50 next year. Uh -huh. next year. So she's 49 it. this year. We so we got to get all the strap-ons we can for next year. <laughs> so remember that. Listen, we're going to do a strap-on drive for Pam. <laughs> Don't send me those strap-ons. Yeah, we We're going to do a strap-on uh, drive for Pam. So get the best strap-ons and get it to... No, don't send me those strap-ons. I'm going to be using my back guys. Next year you're going to be 50. And I'm not. I'm still going to be straight at 50. You you got to try it, Pam, at 50. No, no, no. Not no strap-on. Why? Why not? <laughs> we done got all off topic. Let me go Why back you can't give a chick the two-finger minute? Kim said... <laughs> <laughs> Dudes. So they can say, oh! Pam with that shit, bro. So I got his legs up in the air. And you know what's shit. sad? Pam probably does that too. Yeah. Pam, you might as well be a dude, man. See, y'all wouldn't make me such damn All right, sorry guys, we back. We Kim back. said to Cheese, hell no. Uh, she said, that many baby mama said like your pull out game weak as fuck. <laughs> and you can't pull out of a driveway. Hey, it was, it was. <laughs> 14 years ago. It was. Yeah. Yeah. And beyond. Yeah, Brandy I'm said, good now. hell yes, feelings go away. Tina said, the only feelings I have is hate. <laughs> yeah. yeah Brandy said, when I'm done with you, I'm I'm done. Courts can settle anything that needs to be done. See, that's what I don't like. With the courts? Yeah, you involve yeah. the court into it. Yeah, why can't we just be cordial, man? You stay on your side, I stay on my, on my side. side. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they won't let you be. You get more. That's why we think women still be in love, man. Yeah. Because they don't stop. Because you didn't take until we ain't messing with you no more than we got court killed. Yep. Yeah. And with the new chick, then we got to come beg to get the kid. Right. All of it. Yep. Yeah. And Pam knows women play games. I ain't said shit, Pam. You start talking about them damn strap you gonna have them out of the living room. They be like, UPS here. Yeah, dude. We can just get Pam some strap ons for her. No. Give me some, what you can give me is give me some toys, like some bullets. No. And some, um, what else you call No, you said we can enjoy your 50th birthday. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. You said you'll get drunk, and we're gonna bring a girl to the mix. Yeah. You gonna put a strap on it and go? No hell no! Y'all not gonna use a strap on? But y'all gotta spend a night. No. We we'll can get y'all hotel room in a uh, jacuzzi. No, 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 no. All right, right, Jen. They trying to give me a whole <laughs> new ministry. They are. And they know I don't get down like that. Yeah, she don't. But she did say at her fiftieth birthday she would I try. I said fiftieth. No, I didn't say that. I said my fiftieth birthday. I'm gonna have a good time. No, I'm not trying. And get drunk nothing. and wake up with a girl. No. And I just said, listen, we got her birthday Monday. We got a whole year, right? So please send all the strap ons but just not here at Brown Bad Just <laughs> not here. Because I don't want to drop that box on. and them strap ons Even if I up. did decide to do that, I wouldn't be using no damn strap on. Who wants to use a strap on? That's so gross to me. I don't know. That's, well, We're just trying to give you enough stuff to have fun, Pam. No. No. It means. No. Tell, tell. No, 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 no. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Go ahead, Chief. Tell all the beautiful women that are, think they lesbians. <laughs> Look, think. Think they're lesbians? <laughs> no, I'm good. And you, you got the strap on. Ain't nothing like the real thing. <laughs> 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 I'm probably still be saying up the next year. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. The next one gets it will be, be my husband. Uh oh. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Pam trying to turn over a new leaf. Yeah, I am. I'm getting. I like. My, I like. I'm getting my, my health better. My body better. Yeah. My mind better. I've been slimming in trouble. Sex is really the last thing on my mind now. It is. Well, once you get yeah. it back, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, She's going to be in trouble, y'all. Yeah. Trouble. I don't know. It'll be for my man, though. Bet that. Her hand turn up a new leaf. Bet that. Kim said she's not trying to fuck. She wants to get her back blowed out and hip knocked out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Say it again, Kim. Say it again. That's exactly what it is. I'm it'll glad somebody on her truth. It'll be my 50th then. It'll be her 50th. Yeah, because ain't nothing happening now yeah. until then, probably. 50th. 50th. Something's going to be good. Tina said she said if she got drunk enough, she might do it. She <laughs> did say that, did she not? Y'all know it. <laughs> I meant Pam 55. said it. No, Pam said her 50th. And we've been waiting, Pam. You can't just let us down like yeah. that. Okay, but who it. says something about some strap ons, though? That's what I'm I don't know. I just thought I'd throw it in there. No. If I could, if, if I could throw in one with y'all, then y'all can throw in one with me. Uh, okay. 
Thank you. No. <laughs> but you did say a girl, though. You did agree to that. No, I said that. I already know what I said. That was so long ago. <laughs> but I know at this point now, I, I, I'm not feeling it. So that, feeling that's, it? that's a whole nother year. No, I just was thinking Pam, about it. No. I don't like the new Pam. I want the oh, old Pam God. back. Oh. The new Pam got no. morals and shit. You know what I mean? No. She thinking and shit. Yeah. I know. What is that about? <laughs> She's she, she going through a damn midlife crisis, man. Please, y'all. No. Next thing you know, she'll be coming to this damn place with thongs and shit on. <laughs> and not grannies. <laughs> and not grannies. Oh no, y'all y'all threw me off when y'all started talking about strap ons. That that changed the game now. I don't even want to do it now. now. Okay, well, we take strap ons out. No, no, you done said strap ons are gone. You done said it now. They gone. Strap ons are gone for family. No, 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 no. That threw me off. That that's too much like a a dude. That's too much like stud stuff and Pam, wait, wait, you can't say that, Pam, when you the one doing the two finger ministry. That's you too amazing, because men like that. Men don't no, like that, Pam. Yeah, most men like that. That's they like that. It's, yeah, no, you haven't, you you haven't tried it. Most. You haven't tried it. it, so you don't know if you like it or so not. So, most of the men that you slept with has took the two fingers. Yeah, either they. You said most now. Yeah, that's either, a, either, that's they, either they have stopped me or they have enjoyed it. It's kind of oh. like, so, you know, I'm going I'm to try it. You try. So either they stop me, like, but you got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> or they would just relax. And you'd be like, okay. You like that. And I'm oh. like, oh, you like that, huh? <laughs> oh. So it's either or. It depends on the man. Pam got some serious situations going on in her head, for man. Real, for real. Clarence said Pam is, is officially a retired pimp. Thank you. I'm exactly. Gonna... Say it again, Clarence. No. One Say it again. More time. One more time for the people in the back. I've never been a pimp. I've had long lasting relationships. Pam, you have pimp dudes. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Anybody that makes somebody spin, give them the two fingers, and then say, hey, when I, I'm pregnant, when I get through having this, I'll holler at you. <laughs> That's a pimp. Kim said, if I can touch a man's booty hole, he got some sugar in his tank. <laughs> See? No, See? that's not See, true. Kim? Say it again. Say I don't, it again. I don't know Kim. why people uh, think that because a man likes a finger. It's only gay if it's with another man. It's not gay if it's with who you. You can do anything with the woman that you're with, and it's not gay. I don't understand why people would try to think that it's gay. Gay is two people the same sex. That's what I think. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm telling you. See, you heard what Kim said. There you go. Kim well, that's said. Just, that's just how some people people think, but I think that it's not. I don't think it's gay. Mm. We done went from way from. So Y'all got off, off thing. Hey, I'm we sorry. We was talking man. about the kids' ages and whatever. And hey. I, don't know, I don't know what happened. Just kept on getting better. I don't know what happened, y'all. Right. I done missed the comment. What I missed? I guess I didn't miss anything. See? Uh oh, do you have? You missed a whole lot. I don't know. I didn't see it. You don't have any of that? Oh no. I don't have Chris and Danny. What was that? I'm missing a lot. It didn't come through mine. Chris Said Pammy and Boss gonna be booming because niggas love that shit. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Danny said if they taking fingers in their booth then they'll take a stick. No. Ken said we went from ages to booty hoes. <laughs> 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 uh, we did. But we got there because we was in some subjects that led us there. Right. Cause of Pam. No, I don't know how the subject. Pam, you already know how the subject got there. No, I don't know how we got to strap offs. You said that. I don't think you just threw it out there. Cause I said you might as well be a dude. We trying Pam. to do the oh. fifty. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, get Cause I said the way you treat men, you might as well be a guy. No, because the thing mm -hmm. is, men, the men I've been with, they, I mean, they either like it or they, they hate it. They either love me or, or at the end, or they hate me. I don't do anything to anybody that. That they don't like you. See what I I'm think saying? you play mind games with this. No, I don't play mind games. Mm -hmm. I don't. Mm. You know, I said that either either they gonna love me or they hate me. Sometimes both. It's just <laughs> there's no in between with the men that I've been with. Especially when they call and play in your funeral for you. Right. Tina said, "Why is it when a woman like Pam treats men the way they treat females wrong? Women today just want what men want: good sex and see you next time." Oh, who said that? Hey. Tina. 
Tina, 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 what you think, Tina? She spoke for. She didn't only speak for Tina. She spoke for a lot of women. Yeah, she said women today just want what men want: good sex and see you next time. I don't think that. Yeah, most always, of the women no. always say that, but anytime you ever smash with a chick once or twice, they want a relationship. Yeah. Y'all don't keep that up. Y'all think that the women wants a relationship because sure, we know. We know. All women don't want a relationship just because you have sex with them, though. Did you ever really see that, Cheese? I ain't never seen that. I don't ever see that either. After about two or three times, it's like, uh, we go together. Right. What are you, you, what are you, are you doing? Unless you're paying for it, them the only ones stay true to it. If you pay for it. Yeah. They stay true to it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be thinking that. Are you, you know, we said this before. Are you, are you doing relationship things? No. No, no you Because you don't want to. to. You, you would rather say, hey, I just want to. But guess how much you're going to get when you do that? No. So you got to put it in a little. Rise of Dazzle. Yeah, yeah. Say it, Say it again. Say it again. Say it again, Chief. Gotta do a little Rise of Dazzle. It's because you, you can't just say, hey, I just Nope, can't say that. Yeah, you can. No, you no, can't. You can. It never works. You can. It won't work. But you ain't getting none. You won't get none. I guarantee you. Guaranteed. I, that's 0 for 10. You, it ain't even 1 for 10. Exactly that's, what he said. That's 0 for 10. What he said. I guarantee you. We walk out here. We walk straight down. I can ask a girl on Magnolia. Hey, I just want to fuck. Yep. She ain't going. She gonna give me ten dollars. <laughs> buy me some cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, you must be talking about paying some rent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me a grand. That's what they gonna say. Give me a hundred. Give me five. Well, you got. You just can't come out and just say you got to build up to it. Like if we're talking. See, that's the reason. There you go. But I'm that's just the saying that before, before you gotta get to know somebody. You just can't go up to a complete stranger. No, we're saying I'm somebody like, you know. Somebody you know. If you already had sex, when you say, "Look, man, I, I don't want a relationship," okay, if, we already, if we already just done had sex and we just want to have sex, then then <laughs> Virginia Tom <laughs> versus a uh, razzle dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> Kim said, "Razzle dazzle within five baby moms." <laughs> <laughs> Chris said, "Cheese looking guilty." <laughs> if we already have a sex. Right. And we've established that we are not relationship bound. <laughs> right. If he calls up and be like, I might hit him up and be like, what you doing? And I'll be like, put your dick on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> now see, that's good. And I'll be now, like, it, it makes my you, day. Can you, can you, can you, can you go on? How many times do you ever get that? Yeah. Do you ever get, get that? No, because a dude today just said that I'm no, uh, what did he say? <laughs> I'm no, uh, Something dick or something. Let me find it. He he wasn't talking about me, but he distinctly said, "I'm not no, no, just jump off and you can get some yeah. get some dick." Well, the topic now is we start out by saying, "What's the oldest or the youngest you would date at your current age?" Right. So then it bled into Pam. So you know we always jumping on Pam, right? Yeah. So Pam was talking about how she just treats men. Pam dogs him, right? No, I don't dog him. She dogs him. Because that's why I can't get a date now. Because oh, because me they, and she said they that. keep saying I dog dudes. I don't dog them. You what can't do. The, you can't what do. What happened for, to the guy that kept you from uh, that time? You remember she was out. That dude kept her out. Oh, my friends. Yeah. We still, we still oh, dating. Okay, we okay. 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 But oh. like y'all say, a woman ain't gonna do, ain't gonna let you do to him what. Well, anyway, we done got to the point where yes. we're talking about sex, right? Let me find it. And so, women, somebody on the thing said that women just are like men. They just want to have sex. And what'd she say? Man, with that razzle dazzle. What'd she say? Somebody said women just want to have sex like a dude and keep going. And me and she said, Oh, yeah, he said, happens. ain't no quick dick here. So that means guys don't go for that. You cannot, I cannot text a guy now that I didn't have sex with before and say, uh, Say I won't have sex. He's he gonna have a problem with it. He gonna be like, damn, for real? That's all, that's what you text me for? Really? Yeah. I guarantee it. Really? Yeah. So you tell me right now, no dude that you've had sex with before, you can say, hey, I just wanna have sex. Come over and let's have sex and get it over with. And they gonna do it. They won't do it. Let me text one. Hold up. Uh -oh. It's not gonna happen. Let me go to my palm pilot. We go to your palm pilot. I gotta see this in action. We lie. We lie. Cheese. Do you ever hear women say that? Women no, don't do that. Gonna put that out there. Women don't do that. Cause they ain't gonna want some. Say so we just want to do an experiment. You ain't gonna get mad. Just tell them it. We got the big. We we we. I just like. Look at Kim. Kim. Kim said no. Not all women are uh are built from our cloth, Pam. 
Right. What's up, Andrea? But that, that's the subject, Andrea. So we kind of switched on her because somebody else put it in here. So now we're talking about how men and women interact. Basically, before I met my husband, I just had a sex buddy. Right, you know, it's just... Y'all y'all automatically think that women, all women want relationships. That's your scapegoat to getting out. No. No. You'd be like, oh, no. you, you want too much. You'd be no. like, no, I just want to fuck too. Women are not going to say, yes, I just want to have sex. They always have sex with you, but in hopes that it's going to lead to something else. Right. And once they feel like it's not going to somebody else, guess what they're going to do? They're going to him Pretty over much. here. And they're going to cut you off. Agreed. You cut off. And then what they going to tell you? Well, I didn't think you wanted nothing with me anyway. And you cut off. You was playing games. Say it again. You, you was you playing, playing games. games. Yep. Yeah, playing games with the with the sex. No, women. No, no, no. You was getting mad. No. Yeah, playing games with sex. Kim said when men sell bitches dreams. That's true. Yeah, they do. They do. Somebody men do sent a lot me a thing that's earlier. The razzle -dazzle. That's the razzle dazzle. <laughs> that's the razzle dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> that's the damn razzle dazzle. Somebody sent me something. Is that the razzle dazzle? That's the razzle dazzle. Yeah. We, See, look. We explain to you. Somebody sent me this earlier. You can't give a single woman relationship dick. Now you can't. Oh, okay. I always told Mom we used to say, you put it all in. You can't give it all. <laughs> you can't put it all the way in. You can't in. put it all the way in. Yeah. You really can't. Yeah. So people say they want truth, but not all, you can't be 100% truthful. You can't. It depends on who you're dealing with. You, you can just be. can't. You can't. You can be. You can't. Listen, I don't think no girl is going to listen to a guy and say, hey, I just want to have sex. I want nothing more than that. And that's it. Right. And you might get away with it one time. One time I doubt maybe. it. But it, it ain't going to keep happening. That ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. I was gonna try and just nah, it, it ain't even no way. <laughs> Danny said, when I was single, I would tell women I don't want a relationship. I'm just having fun, and they they'd be cool with it, and with it until uh, cool with it for a minute, then they'd switch up. Exactly. Yeah. He, well, he's saying the truth. Well, right. it's it goes the same with us too. Our right. men just don't want to don't want to just be having sex. All men. Yeah. Yes, eventually they, they they will ask us, well, what are we or what we doing or something. I don't... Or I, next thing you know, they'll move in. You'll be like, damn. I don't know what the hell you're doing you doing with never, your best. You ain't never, you ain't never had a, a, like a one night stand. Next thing you know, it's been three months and y'all y'all together now. Just like that fast. That's what we said. Yeah. But that ain't the woman. That is, that's a fault. Yeah. That ain't the woman's fault. Mm. Most of the time, the men are homeless when they do that, though. They need some more to stay. Right, right. I agree with that. Too. Well, I agree with that. Yeah, if you got a guy that's homeless, yeah, of course he's going to be ready to move in. We said a guy that's got his own place. Yeah, he established. His own stuff, he's established. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Kim said, you just don't hit them overs and you'll be Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Kim is so damn crazy. Hey, Kim, you're right about that. Too far in, they st you're staying. Tina said, not all women want relationships. Some do just want sex. The guys think if a woman likes having sex with him that she's catching feelings. Not always the case. To some sex is just sex, especially if it's good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We just want yeah, you. We just I, want the, the good sex. All right, I'm going to wrap it up for her. She backtracking. She ain't doing no mm -hmm. Like she, she said, just, baby daddy. She know, like, so that baby daddy don't count. She backtracking. No, she didn't say. No, she didn't say. No, I'm saying Kim. Kim just said that. Look at that. Oh yeah, but we're talking about what Tina. He talking oh, about yeah. what Tina said. Oh okay. He said she back backtracking. Mm -hmm. She thinking about. Oh, I can go just. I can fuck. I can fuck. Hell yeah. I, me and him on that level. Once you yeah. built that level, y'all don't went through the relationship, and y'all built that other level. Right, right. It's hard to go back. Yeah. Once you done been in a relationship, cause yeah. the feelings there. Kim said, my baby daddy moved in on the first night. Sure did. Did you, wow. get, back, did you get back in? See, I'm missing folks. Oh, yeah. She said before oh. she met her husband, she had a sex sex buddy. Yeah, it's, not, it's that one person that can make you change. You know, if you get with somebody and you feel it, and you be, both of you feel it, and you're like, right. you want to be with them. But, mm. but not just everybody you, you with, you don't want to. 
Drew, what it do? Everybody ain't, What's up, Drew? Everybody ain't relationship material. They ain't pop up on mine. Somebody came in? Drew came in? Mm -hmm. Drew came in. Yeah, everybody's not them. relationship material. Some people are just... You should just left some people at the just fucking phase. Yeah. That's all of us. Yeah. Yeah. You try stuff with people, you be like, We should have had that. That's yeah. Fine. Ten years. If you had ten years, you had ten years of fight. Right. Kick with your mind for a little bit. Ten years. <laughs> but but I, but I tell you what, it works like if an older dude gets a younger girl. Sometimes, sometimes those girls don't want a relationship because he's old. Right. right. You know what I mean? Right. They want somebody their age. Right. Right. So an older. So those kind of work out a little bit. You know what I mean? Where they know what that is. Right, right, right. I agree with that. Yeah, that's true. Kim said, "Sad, sad." <laughs> yeah, everybody ain't wanting that relationship thing. Some people just want, you know. Some people want sex. Some people just want to date. You know, I'm at the point now. There ain't no sex involved at all, so we can date. So, you done with the sex part? Yeah, I'm done with that. I'm going to want to date, like date, and then we'll come to that. Cause some people, you be just chatting with, them, they throw in sex in there off the top, and be like, dude. You just, we just exchanged damn numbers. Yeah. And they start ask, asking sexual things. You like, no, this ain't it. This ain't it. Uh oh. This ain't it. Too early. Too early. So now, yeah. But some people just want want a date. You know, no old men. Maybe no. I don't know. Mm. People say that the older older men treat you better. They want they want to do stuff because they don't have younger kids to where they can't do anything. Right. You know, they can pick up and go somewhere on the weekend or go on a trip. Mm -hmm. You know, because most of them have, if they work, they have vacation time. Some of them retire so they can do what they want to do. So if you're older and you're at that point, then, yeah, but some people just can't get up and just leave because they have kids. Mm -hmm. You know. I agree with that. Regina said, I still stand by the fact that folks got to stop doing relationship shit during a fucking phase. They wonder why the chick's tripping. Not me, though. That's true. But it's just what she said earlier. If you don't do all those things, then, you know, because sometimes men go out because they enjoy hanging with you. You know what I mean? Right. You know, we go out to eat because we might want to go out to eat, take you out to eat. We might go do some stuff. But if you don't do those things, most women going to be like, nah, you're not coming over here getting this. Because I can always get that. That's how women look at it. Right, right, right. Y'all message box stay filled up with, 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 pic yeah, with pictures all day long. Yeah, I have a friend that, that we just told him a few nights ago that he needs to stop doing relationship stuff with women he's just fucking because he always gets in these predicaments where I, these women think that they're actually together or they're on that level and he's just like i just want to i just like to i was raised to treat the woman whoever you dealing with to treat them good that makes sense yeah. that makes and sense so he said i saw my parents like that and i like to do stuff i like to go out of i'm not exclusive with anybody right so why i can't take somebody out of town take this other person somewhere else do mm -hmm. something i said because some women aren't built like that to accept it you know what I mean? yeah but the point is if you don't do all that you're not gonna get all the other stuff that comes with it right i mean yeah if he just told them well if he if they were up to it if he told them, he can't go back backtrack now because he, he, he done done too much. Right, but you can't tell. Listen, men knows if you got a girl that's you know what I mean. You tell her that's all I want. She like, nah, bro, I can get that anyway. Yeah. Peace, I'm out. I'm good. Go ahead, yeah, I mean, if we're just go gonna ahead be, and do you. If we're just gonna <laughs> be having sex, and that's just what we're gonna be having. There ain't gonna be no spending the night. Ain't gonna be no cooking for you. Ain't gonna be no going nowhere. I'll be cool. Yep, yeah, ain't gonna happen to cheese. Ain't gonna happen. That's like dream come true. Yep. Not to have to put no work in for some sex. No, it ain't about not putting no. in work. It's about that type level of honesty. <coughs> right. Oh, okay. Because then they look at it like, if you're that honest, you don't care nothing for them. And that, yeah. what do women say? I can't have sex if I don't have some kind of feelings for a dude. Right. And if you just say you just don't care a damn thing about her, she like... I mean, you could actually like the sex and not want to be with the person, though. Yeah, I ain't never just like the sex with somebody and don't have feelings for them. Yeah, we're a guy. We've done that. I mean, women do the same thing. Well, why do y'all think? Do that, Chase. Why y'all think that women just aren't built like that? Man, I, don't they, know, I don't know who they right. are dealing with. It's like a $2 bill. It's right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> face like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know women that are that are like like that. So you know, at the at the moment, you know. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Mm. Mm hmm. 
Well, Jenny said, exactly, Pam. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad somebody agrees with me. Whatever. Whatever. Y'all women are all in the they want us, game. They anyway. want us to be falling anyway. all in love with them and saying, oh, when you going to come and see me? Y'all no. do? You do? But there's nothing wrong with that. Because y'all do the same. They do the same thing. Me and we just, you know, we, you know, we, we have feelings for women. We do do that. But ours is not as quickly attached. Okay. Right. That's all. Drew said, King KJ Brown, dope out, dope out looking. Right. Tina said, Men have taught women well, not to catch feelings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all have created these monsters. Good. 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 What we created women as monsters? Yeah, not to, to me, not to catch. Yeah, it's too late for you, but like, not to catch right. feelings, just to go with the flow. Mm, no, 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 I don't believe that's out there, man. Uh, Danny said, but it don't matter what you do with them as far as extra activity, movies, uh, restaurants outside the bedroom. If you're telling them you don't want a relationship, they're supposed to understand that, right? Yep. Yep. But what Danny said earlier, he said that every girl he's ever dealt with in the beginning it started one way. And it ends some other place. Yeah. I mean, they go kiss feelings. I don't know, y'all must mess with some little girls or something. Man, it just happens, man. I just think that, you know, it's an emotional connection, you know? Virginia said, y'all full of shit is what y'all are, oh, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Every week, they never cease to amaze me. It's this summer. <laughs> and then they wonder why we are the way we are. This is Man, why. it had nothing to do with us. This is At why. All. Men don't do that shit. Nah. This is this This is why. This is it, y'all. Yeah. That's it. I'm gonna say, hey, y'all. Uh, yeah, that's that's why. Like you didn't I get said, that? Did you get the next one? No. What is that? I tell you, you didn't get that one. I know. Say, so sex is a physical act. Ain't got a damn thing to do with emotion. Sex is sex. Love is, love is a whole different thing. That's true. See? Yeah. My point. So, yeah. So why is sex cheap? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Jesus came all the way from left field. I know. Well, I don't know what that is. Wow. We hey, might need to end it on that note. Yeah, man. We're going to get out of here, guys. <laughs> That's it, bud. <laughs> hey, Christy. Uh, What's up? Yeah, we at the end of the show now. Yeah, hit, we at the I'm end. I'm feeling good tonight. I, I got an employee of the money at my job today. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Congrats. I come up. I heard somebody calling my name. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, I said, hey, man, somebody calling my name either Flynn. Right. Because I ain't never heard that tone, you know yeah. what I mean? Right, right. Said your government name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So I look around the corner. He said, hey, I need to take your picture. You employee of the month. I'm like, what? Do you get a parking space? Yeah. Really? That's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. about. That's what I'm talking about. about. I'm going to forget. <laughs> Listen, they couldn't give that shit to me because I come in with a robe on and a crown. I right, go by Burger King and get you one of the little crowns and put that on. Yeah. Employee of the month. No, yeah, because <laughs> yeah. mine start the first. So. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah I wouldn't have to act for them damn 30 days. Yeah. Pulling get... up to the front. Yeah. Blasting music. I'm like, man, what else I get? Everybody bring me a damn moon pie. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody gonna bring me fruit, somebody gonna bring me a moon pie, a couple of bottles of water. There you go. One of, one of the workers was down the door like me. I said, Welcome to this morning. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Well, that is good. That was too funny. Though. Yeah. yeah, that is good. Well, congrats, Cheese. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so the people that uh, look at, I mean, listen to us on Friday nights, uh, you know it's football season, mm -hmm. so uh, we're not going to be on there as much because it is football season. They broadcast all of Austin's games. Right. But we do got a big rival coming up on Friday the 13th, September the 13th. It's going to be AE versus Fulton. And whoever wins, whoever loses, gets to get water balloons thrown out. Which is Fulton. Which so probably going to be Fulton. We're going to get the bomb. Scott Free with water balloons, man. That's just, Ain't gonna, gonna happen. It's gonna be fun. But we'll be promoting it this week. We're gonna, just gonna, we're gonna have the flowers up and be promoting it this week. So you guys hear all about it. Hey. So we're gonna have put it out there. I'm scared though. I'm like, man, we got down here and lose some L3 and nothing. 
I mean, we're looking pretty bad. But make sure you guys tune in at. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. And we'll catch you guys next week. Matter of fact, Monday's Pam's birthday. Monday's my birthday. And yeah. if you want to feel generous, generous. Uh, everybody give me a dollar. If you want to do five, ten, hundred. My cash app is, <laughs> you know, it's a dollar sign. G Mama Gigi. G M A M A G I G I. If you want to be generous, then cash app your girl something. Yeah. Uh, Nothing is too small. Nothing, right nothing is too big. Yeah. Cash app her. You gonna go to the strip club on the money? Huh? You going to the strip club on the money? If y'all can't no. get in her, no, I'm gonna do. Be, I'm gonna. I'm gonna finish paying this tuition that TSU <laughs> paid for his park pass, uh, uh, my car pay. You know, different, different things I'm, I'm gonna be doing with it. Ain't gonna you be. Get pounds cash out. My cash out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's dollar sign G Mama GG. So there you go. Yeah. G Mama GG. G Mama GG. Well, How guys, you spell your mama? G M A M A G I G I G I G I. Yeah. Yeah. M A M A G I G I. Yeah, I'm gonna get enough money. You know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go on my Facebook page. I got like three thousand friends. So and then the money, you know, I got I got a friend that needs a little laptop printer. I got a friend that needs something but it's supposed else. To be for I, got, you. I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pay it forward, and then oh. it'll come back to me. So oh, that, that's okay. my 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 comings is gonna be to help 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 other because during this last month or so, my friends have come through through for me, so I feel like I could come through for them too. Gotcha. There it is. Sounds good. Thank you. There it is. Look out for our Facebook page. Yeah. All right, y'all. So until next week, guys. Double peace. Two fingers. Two fingers. That's sad. That's sick. <laughs> that is sick. <laughs>